All right, what's up, everybody? This is Zach Zacharias. We're back with more of Burnham 3 Rune World. Here we are now at the point of contemplation because uh, Ahonar and Shadar and Shader asked us to uh, check on it. As well as Mother Luminous and Vavner. Check to make sure everything is okay, but I highly doubt it if uh, Ahonar gave us bounty on the job board and Shader. This was a major Anama shrine, a place for thought, discussion, and contemplation. Now it is a ruin. The walls are cracked and moldy, and you hear off in the distance the hissing of roaches. It looks like it was ab abandoned very recently. Got some javelins we can use. Yeah, I highly doubt everything's okay if uh, we have to do all this. healing potions This was a sh small Anama shrine. However, some large roaches picked apart the altar bit of stone by bit of stone. There's nothing left but gravel. Very peculiar behavior for these insects. There were lots of Anama religious texts here, then the roaches ate them all. Only a few, few illegible fragments of parchment remain. Okay, oh, so if we get a sheet of papyrus, maybe we can go back to that one wizard and he'll make a scroll for us. But I'm at the point where I'm more comfortable with, like, selling scrolls, to be honest, without having to use that. You see another entry to the Contemplation Hall. Large stone benches are positioned in front of broad windows. 
For each one, you can see a gorgeous panoramic view. This room was created as a place for meditation and contemplation. No doubt much sought on anomal beliefs and precept that uh, took place here until the roaches came. There is a beautiful carved stone basin full of water in the center of the hall. You note that the roaches try not to get too close to it. A gigantic roach walking upright on its hind legs lunges at you from behind the basin. Oddly, it takes great pains to not actually touch the basin. The thing is it's a whore. It's carapace. It's carapace. It's tinted green and covered with cracks. Caustic slime drips out of the cracks and burns holes into the floor wherever it lands. Right, we'll leave the water alone for now. Oh, I just want to walk here to the oozing roach. The horrifying oozing roach has been destroyed. Its body is soon consumed by its own caustic fluids. The Inama should now be able to reclaim their little monastery with little trouble. The cleaning bill, however, will be enormous. Despite its proximity to the foul spilt reading cockroaches, the waters in this fountain are still clean and crystal clear. Looking at them makes you feel thirsty. You drink some of the fountain's fresh crystal water. It tingles as it goes down. You feel very refreshed. No doubt the anomaly imbued the pool with some sort of healing energy. It feels like the fluid is purifying your system. Carnelian Breastplate. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Steel breastplate looks a little bit better, though. Let's just put this on her, then. At least we are able to recover the uh, point of contemplation for the Anama. I have been inside port contempla point contemplation. I'm afraid it has been destroyed. She cries out in anger and horror. No! How could this happen? That was the Anama's first shrine, a beautiful place of meditation and learning. Destroyed? It takes several minutes of angry shouting for her to calm down. Finally, exhausted, she says, thank you for this information. We must redouble our efforts to retake the asylum from the forces that assail it. I wish you safe travels. Okay, now we're well known. So let's go ahead and talk to Ahonar regarding my contemplation. And we'll do some more exploring afterward. Ahonar listens to the tale of point contemplation. It grieves me when the evil of magic assaults us, but also doubles my resolve to fight it. 
Thank you, adventurer. He rewards you with three blessed crystals. Oh, with some crystals. Oh, let's give that to, uh... Let's give that to Celestia, then. Do this and this. This and this. 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 Make sure I did that right. 15. 15. So we just need four more levels and we have uh, the maximum priest and mage spells we need. There is a crypt to the northeast of Shader, infused with the darkness of foul magic. None of the scouts sent into this crypt have emerged. This infection cannot be tolerated. A bounty is offered to whoever can enter the crypt and then emerge alive. Should you man of this feat, collect your reward from Arkley, the librarian of Shader. Ooh, I think I know where that might be then. This this forest is unusually dark and thick spider webs hang everywhere. It's creepy. As you move into this dark and shadowy copse of trees, you notice that many of the branches have spider webs on them. Very large spider webs. Grapefruit sized spiders watch you hungrily as you pass. Okay, that's where the friendly spiders are gonna be. over here you work your way up a narrow treacherous rocky valley at first you think you've reached the end of it but then you notice a gap in the rock up ahead there was a tiny and well-concealed passage you were lucky to notice it in this isolated veil you find a stone circle huge carved stones covered with abstract designs loom over you this place is ancient and almost completely overgrown the sky over the circle is clearer and sunnier than everywhere, anywhere around, and the air seems fresher. It's a very inviting place. Enter. You intended to look at the design and search the place a bit, but once you're inside, your attention is completely grabbed by the altar. The mossy, rough, featureless stone in the center completely and inexplicably seizes your attention. You suddenly feel very, feel a powerful urge to kneel out the stone. Do you? You walk forward and kneel. Without thinking, you put your hand on the cool stone. For the briefest moment, it moments it throbs with power and you feel weak and lightheaded the, the feeling passes and again you gain the power from one of these mysterious stone circles the ritual appears in your mind ready for use you also feel more energetic than you felt in a long time you stumble out of the stone circle stunned by your experience soon you look back only to find that while the stone circle is still there the altar stone has disappeared in mere moments the magic fled this place Okay, so we got a rebuff to smite there. Or cockworth shows to squish. There are patches of twisted fungus growing among these huge boulders. Okay, we already 
already been here. In this clearing of the forest, you find a patch of unusual flowers, a variety uncommon in this area. Using your keen knowledge of nature, you determine that some of them could be very useful in potions. It's a valuable alchemical ingredient, and there is quite a supply here. Okay, well, this is definitely the crypt here, so let's head in. You are at the entrance to a crypt. It's old, damp, and crumbling, and yet the smell of rotten decay is fresh. Someone died here recently. To enter, you will have to walk through a massive open gate. You sense a trap. If you enter, it may be very difficult to leave. We'll take our chances, though. You hear a strange, whispering, malevolent voice. Welcome to my crypt. I hope you enjoy your stay. I seriously doubt you will be my first visitor to leave. I am quite hungry, so please hurry up and die. I haven't been fed for quite some time. Wait, can we... This is a painting of a large shark tower on a promontory over the water, with many farms clustered out of space. Considering how sparsely populated this area is now, this must be a very old painting indeed. This ancient painting depicts starving peasants groveling at the feet of a huge muscular man. He looks down upon them with contempt. Must have been a nice guy. Odd. This painting simply depicts a lever sticking out of the ground. The painting, this painting had crumbled and faded. Only the plaque at the base communicates anything useful. It says, Gorfable. You can just make out this painting. It depicts a huge man with a sword sitting on a throne. The style of clothing is archaic. The plaque under the painting has been pried out. There is a huge drilling gas sitting up on sitting on the throne to the north. You tense yourself up for combat, but then you realize it doesn't seem to be about to attack you. In fact, it's just sitting there, peacefully, waiting. Oh, I do know Marvel Bust is a quest item, so we're going to hang on to that for a bit. A huge gas sits on the throne, gazing at you hungrily. Drool drips from its massive teeth and little bits of gore hang from its chin. You ask its name. It emits a deep chuckle. My name will not save your life. Why are you sitting here, gasped? It runs a claw down an arm of the throne. I have been placed here by Gorfaval to test taunt you. Who is, Gor who, who is Gorfaval? You are in the tomb of Gorfaval. Mighty warrior and thane. For centuries he has lurked here, hiding his crypt and then, then making it visible again. Why did he make his crypt visible again? Nothing pleasing hit, pleases him more than snaring a few passers-by, tormenting them, and destroying them. I am honored to share in this pleasure. He is brilliant. You have no hope. You may just want to let me eat you now. He sounds more sadistic than brilliant. When people begin to suspect that people are being abducted, he makes the crypt disappear for years and years. We get very hungry, but it guarantees much carnage for us. It grins in the long run. How do you plan to taunt me? I have been placed here to ask you a riddle. Answer correctly and I will depart and let you proceed. Fail and wander aimlessly. Are you ready for the test? What is the riddle? Here is the riddle. When you know the answer, speak it to me. I have two knives. They're sharp and red. I want to stick them in your head. He grins. What are they? Is it fangs? It looks disappointed. Y you may move on. But remember, when you die, I will be feeding on you. It fades away before your eyes. Creepy. Oh, 
Okay, so that was quite the... Quite the introduction, right? Ah, wish I had lightning spray right now. That would be very helpful. This pride once intended to be a beautiful altar, the centerpiece of the crypt. However, several cracks and, and a thick layer of dust later, it just isn't that impressive anymore. Any magical power it held faded long ago. Alright, so we better not use a... Hear the voice again. Go ahead, keep marching around. I can create servants to fight you for as long as I want. Just rest assured, sooner or later you will fall to feed the spirit of Gorfaval. I don't need those. Skeletons and zombies when you're high level are very easy to kill though. You can definitely take these out in the... pretty easily. Uh, I wish I had lightning spray though, because that would be very handy here. Shard, summon shade. Ooh, this actually is very handy right here. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead. This is one of those you can use once before resting. Let's go ahead and put the spell shards separate. And we'll keep those in mind. There was a pathway to open here, though. Okay, now I see what it did here.
We have to go all the way around now. When you re-enter the gallery, you hear the reassuring sound of a gate opening. You peek around the corner and see that the exit portcullis has opened up. You have freed yourself from Gorfaval's trap. Okay, well I think we complete our quest then. You tell Arclay what you found in the crypt. What an insidious trap brought to us by the corruption of magic. Thank you for your aid. As a reward, here is a, here is a blessed item infused by the holy magic of the Yanama. Crystal, I don't really care for luck, but... I guess I want to hurt to use it anyway, just to have a spell. Just have a point in there since it's not like we're training it or anything. Okay, well that was how you survived that uh, crypt. So in the meantime, we do need to exterminate the roaches. So, what? I probably just checked this job board, but I kind of forgot. Nope, no jobs currently available. Okay, so with that in mind, time for us to go see these friendly spiders. And it's day 26 2. Now entering friendly happy spiders. So with that in mind, I'm going to save the game right here, but I'll see you all soon with the next part of Let's Play.